Hey there, this is Mr. Icarus, and welcome to yet another edition of Doom Mod Madness. This time round, I bring you a gameplay mod by the name of Doom 4 Vanilla. This is a gameplay mod, one that functions practically as a demake for Doom 2016, dragging it, kicking and screaming back into the era of Doom 2. As you can see, a lot of the more visually recognizable elements include the weapons, the fisticuffs, the enemy sprites. There's a few little changes here and there with regards to skyboxes and mucage, some of it replaced by lava in some cases. What you will not find in this mod, however, are a few notable gameplay absences. For example, there are no glory kills here. As a result, there are no enemies that explode delightfully into ammunition and health when you rip them asunder. There are no weapon upgrades here. As a consequence, there are no alt fires. G, there's not even any double jumping, which I couldn't do even if I wanted to because this map has it disabled. So a lot of you out there are now thinking, well, Icarus, why should I be bothered? Not gonna lie to you, this is a tough sell for me because this is kind of the antithesis of stuff that I am actually looking for in mods that I personally enjoy. I am a fan of the overblown, the ridiculous, the over the top, whereas this is a mod that's a lot more subtle in its applications and its appeal. One of the bigger selling points of this appears to be the idea that it is extremely compatible. You can throw pretty much any source port at this and it will work. It will run beautifully. So if you prefer your Doom to be a little crispier than usual, you can play it with crispy Doom. If you prefer not to play it with a source port at all, you can run it through bloody MS-DOS if you so choose. Me, I'm not that picky when it comes to how I play Doom. I like slapping it into GZ Doom and having myself some fun. Now another aspect of this that you'll see bandied about by a lot of enthusiasts is the fact that a lot of the modding work done for this was done via dehacked. Now if that doesn't mean anything to you, I'll forgive you for that. I gotta admit, I'm a little hazy on what that all means myself, but basically it's a method of modding that is 100% more a pain in the ass than more recent methods such as decorate. Uh, that contributes, I believe, to the uber compatibility of the mod itself. It's, from what I can tell, a pretty damn painstaking process. So how about the, let's say, more observable aspects? of Doom 4 Vanilla. Well, for one, I'm a fan of the sprite work that's gone into this for sure, both with regards to the enemies and the weaponry itself. It's some real nice subtle work and fits like a glove with that demic style. I'm also a fan of a few of the change-ups in here, especially with regard to the chain gun, which has a refreshingly brief spin-up time, almost non-existent in fact. And when it's firing, it's actually about two times faster than the regular vanilla chain gun, so I can't complain on that front. There's also a few notable changes here with regards to enemy behaviors. The revenants will jetpack before unleashing the payload, which is always cool to see. There's also changes to the Hell Knights, which no longer fling projectiles, but will charge at you pretty aggressively if they've got the space to do so. And if you're in range and within line of sight, they can also do a ground slam attack, which will indeed inflict damage. Barons! Oh boy, let me tell you about Barons. They are not to be trifled with. They can fling projectiles, much unlike their inferior Hell Knight kin. If they don't hit you in the face and deal a metric crap ton of damage, they will hit the floor. Whereupon, they become mines that explode after a short time, and if you're anywhere near them, will deal a heckin' chunk of damage. Basically, any time you run into a Baron during the course of Doom 4 Vanilla, you are engaging in what I like to call squeaky bum time. Everything else just feels like it pales in comparison now, but you've got pinkies that will actively charge at you from across a room. You can gracefully sidestep out the way, whereupon they will headbutt a wall. You don't have to shoot them in the butt, much like you do in Doom 2016 to kill them. You can freely shoot them in the face, and that will be A-OK. -okay. We've also got multiple varieties of Mancubus. The one that you saw quite recently there does a similar thing to the Baron with its projectiles. If it doesn't hit you with those, they become 
de facto timed mines on the floor, but the other variety acts very similar to the variety you know and love, just spewing out big old fireballs in your general direction. Archviles, they get replaced by summoners. Summoners ain't shit. At least in these maps. I've been playing on a map pack called Baculus, and a lot of the encounters with summoners so far have been in quite cramped conditions, which means they haven't really been able to have the space to truly let loose what with being able to teleport all over the place. And, I guess, summon enemies. None of them have ever lived long enough for me to actually witness them summoning additional enemies. This mod still retains gore nests, by the way. I believe this is what pain elementals get swapped out for. And as you can see, they continuously spew out lost souls until you kill them. Whereupon, much like the pain elemental, they explode into a whole bunch of lost souls. If you catch them in confined areas, much like the one I just did the most of those lost souls will just end up blowing themselves up on the walls whenever they spawn, which is always handy. So with regards to the weapons roster, something I've managed to avoid talking about at length up until now, I will say that it certainly feels vanilla, so it's fulfilling that objective with the theming of the mod there. I mean, the clues in the title. Vanilla. I won't lie though, I miss those alts. I miss those upgrade options. I feel like it was a significant contribution to the fun I had with the combat in Doom 2016, and it's unfortunate that it doesn't make an appearance here. I will say before I forget though that even though the chainsaw doesn't have that kind of insta-kill setup that it had in Doom 2016, here it still comprehensively shreds, so don't be afraid to default to that if you find yourself in a bit of a hurry, close-range situation. But whether or not you'll get along with Doom 4 Vanilla will entirely depend on how invested you get in the nuts and bolts of Doom mods, and whether or not you're amenable to the more vanilla-styled experience. For yours truly, I have been comprehensively spoiled over the years, so the vanilla experience is less something that I actively go out and seek. That said, I can still most assuredly appreciate the kind of effort that's gone into the creation of a mod such as this to make it as uber compatible as it is. The painstaking work that must have gone into the creation of this using dehacked, even if I admittedly am hazy on the details myself. But yeah, this type of mod isn't my usual cup of tea, but I can freely admit that it does a damn good job of achieving what it sets out to do. And it's certainly worth checking out, if only for those tweaks in enemy behaviors, causing those potentially familiar situations to be a bit more tension-filled than usual, especially if you've got a Baron in the mix. Like I said earlier, squeaky bum time. But if this kind of thing does indeed sound like your particular cup of tea, if it floats your boat, if it tickles your pickle, then you'll find the link, as usual, in the description below. While I'm at it, I'd like to give a great big thank you to my wonderful patrons over on Patreon. Thank you so very much for supporting the channel and for helping to make content like this possible. If you're interested in lending a hand yourself, maybe you'd like to see your name in the credits. Maybe you'd like to gain early access to my videos before anyone else. Heck, maybe you just enjoy the smell of burning money. If that's the case, you'll find the link to my Patreon page also in the description below. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video, feel free to let me know what you thought in the comments and feel free to suggest any mod that you'd like to see me cover in future editions of not just Doom Mod Madness, but Mod Madness in general. This has been Mr. Icarus, thank you very much for watching, Icarus out.